Hallelujah. That's all right. I like that. I tell you that you can sing the same songs to me repetitively. I don't mind that. As the old ones would say, it stirs up something in the inward parts. It begins to activate the testimony of Almighty Yah in Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. And so as long as the old ones would say, as long as he has given me the breath, the vapor of his ruach, I shall make known the excellence of his beauty and his power. For he is tough unto Yisra'ya. He is excellent to us. And I am not ashamed of the message of Yeshua HaMashiach. For it is the ruach, the koach, the power of Yah to deliver us, to bring Yashach, the salvation of Yah, unto his house. If I had a thousand tongues, isn't that amazing? That Yah gives us what we call the loshon, the language of our mouths, a tongue. And when thy weed, when he began to digest the beauty of Yah, and all of the excellent things that Yah had done for him, he said, if I had a thousand tongues, something is wrong with that dirty thing in our mouths, isn't it? You don't have to concur with me or agree, but something is drastically wrong with us. He said, if I had a thousand tongues, I could not praise Almighty Yah enough to make to fear And that is with the vocal cord. It's open up unto Yah. What's wrong with Yah's people? Hallelujah. In my days, we will bring the house down. In all of our sin, we're going to tear the mother up. And we will tear down. You understand? When it comes to Yah, there is no praises. Let everything that has breath. Praise ye, Almighty Yah. That's. And yet we are people that say we love Him, don't we? He said, You only show the excellence of my Achab. That's all right when you do what I command you to do. And if we do not obey faithfully uh, the commands of Yah, and that includes His Chukmah, His statutes, the ordinance. That includes that Yisra'ya. And if we don't obey that, we show disdain. You know our natural carnal mind, it is enmity against the Torah of Yah because it is not subject. And so we will damn him in our actions, our deeds. And our protocol is not the protocol of Yah. And that's the truth, Yisra'ya. It's one thing I've never had problem with raising my voice. To the Cassandra when he came to Yah. Most people look to get on the back row. Even in the whole houses, I would get on the front row. I never sat on the back. And if you want to see anything, you look at the back of my head. But as far as praising him, I am going to do that. I like that song. I can do all things through your sure. Hamashiach that gives me strength. And our greatest dilemma is simply this, Yisraya, is that we do not have the power that witness in our bosom. We have a witness, but it's not according to uh, Torah. We have the witness according to Torah. There is a chafe, there is a delight. For we delight to do the will of Yah. There is only one thing that signifies the beauty of His power, His might. And that is a pure shakha, a worship from Yisraya. And that is one thing that the enemy has kept us from. He has handicapped us from that. And the reason why? Because we are a sick people. And that's the truth. That is the power of whom shall be the mighty one. And so that's why Hashatan has everyone worshiping him. The deeds and the actions of their flesh that even our carnal state of mind denounces and wrestle with what Yah commands us to do. I won't do it, Yisra'ya. I will not. 
Hallelujah. I don't care if I'm in the markets. Well, I'm digging in the garden. I'm going to exalt the majesty of Almighty Yah. For his name is excellent. And there's something drastically wrong in us. When we sat as a nation of people and we said quiet and mum. Yet over some of the most simplest of frivolity and folly, we laugh like a damn pack of jackals. There are we that laugh at every damn thing it is. We greet each other with laughter, with folly. But when it comes to Yah, we don't greet him with a Torah. Listen, don't do it. I'm telling you, he said, enter into his presence. Enter now. That is to bow, to come in, to spread oneself with Todah, with the offering of Todah. And I watched the disdain for Yah. He has granted us life today and health. And he grants us a moment to come into the bayats of Yah, his house, his dwelling place. So he said, when you come in, I want you to offer up a da, and that is a thanksgiving that is not bound by the circumstances of one's life. It is a revelation of the majestic power of Almighty Yah. And when one sense the awe of that, one can only say, da, yeah. ah, da, da. Reason we can't say it because we're sick. But he must bring healing in the Akharith, the last hours of the last days. If he does not bring his Rafa, is he not? Ya Rafa. He must bring his healing unto his people. And there is a process and an order for these last days. Because we are full of all kinds of diseases. We are sick. We are sick people. If the head is sick, then the whole body is sick, Yisraya. So I want to, as Zacheni Yaramiya and all the Ach, in the process of the teaching, as they would say, I'm not going to be long tonight, and that's the truth, because I don't have to prepare a message. I open the book, I can teach and preach from whatever page you open the book to and bring understanding. But it is vitally, vital to us that we do get you know, understanding of what Yah speaks. And that is this. Listen, Yisra'ya. Have you ever seen a child that you taught them a concept or a lesson? What is the thing that you notice when they realize that they have concept of that and knowledge of it? There is an expree of joy. They delight Oh, mama, I can count. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Come on, talk to me. A, B, C, D, E, I, H, I, gentlemen, P. Mama, mama. Even the principle of the concept excites their love. And there's not a damn thing about y'all that excites a rebellious, wicked house that is corrupt, that frankly doesn't give a damn about y'all. I know we say we do. But we don't give a Russia, all right? And that is a fact. You can tell what a man cares because his beauty is in his stamina. You understand? Sure it is. We're weighted down with every kind of burden. As the old folks would well, take it to Yah and leave our burdens there. We're excellent people of talking an excellent game. We don't have a damn thing. We're going to be tested in this akharit. We're going to be tried. We're going to be proven. We're going to be sarah. And the sarah of Yah is the fiery trial that should prove the integrity of one's bosom, what is in one's heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to teach something tonight quickly. And I want you to, your eyes to pierce upon this. I would have begun here in the book of second, I want to begin here in the first of second Debri Chayyim or second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. And this is the process of the Rafa of Yah's people, the healing of this nation. And I will take us through steps on tonight 
to show us the wholeness and the completion of Yah's healing. The healing of Yisra'ah, it has been rattled. It has been taken off course. And we can see that with the dietary law of our physical being. We know what we eat in the spiritual realm, Yisra'ah. We understand that because it is a, a correlation. Beloved, I would above all things that thou will be in excellent health even as thine nephesh. And we are so accustomed to using the word soul, uh, we think that it is some kind of hidden mystic uh, spirit in us. But that is not what the soul is. And the nephesh of Yah is the, is the composition of life. Uh, that which is exterior, that which is within, that which breathes, it is the wholeness of the fullness of man. That's what it is. And so we have a, taken the word soul. We have been taught that it means something that is beyond the, the visual. But it is his nefesh. The life of his power in Yisrael. And we need that, don't we? Should we do? I want to read quickly here. In the book of Second Chronicles chapter 7. Verse 14. He says, if my am, his people... Those that are elected according to his election, his choosing. He said, if my people which are called by my name, that's why we are called Yisra, Yisra'ya. I know we say Yisra'el with the E-L, but Yisra'el, A-L-E. But we are the people that have been called by his Hashem, the name. The name, ha Hashem, the name of Yah. And we are the ones that prevail in the midst of great agony, uh, great calamities. Uh, that is why he said, your name is no more Yaakov. But it is Yisra'ya. Because thou has prevailed against all opposition. Now what are we prevailing against? So if my people, uh, his arm, um, his elect... Uh, those that he has chosen by his foreknowledge, if my people, look at the possession there now, look at the endearing there, look at the beloved of Yahweh, if my people, which are called by, name, by my name, we must, if we would humble ourselves, you know we think that being humble is showing this, phony spirit, but that's not being humble. The kana of Yah is when one's mind is subjugated with all subjection unto the Torah of Almighty Yah by the power of the revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach. He becomes real. If my people were called by my name with kana, but humble. We think, humble, oh, I love you, sister. You're a liar. Oh, brother, I, we think that is humbleness. But that is not the kana of Yah. That is not Yah's kana. It is to be subject to all the authority and the commands of Almighty Yah. That is what it means, Israel. If we will simply humble ourselves, if we will do what he commands us, he says... Uh, if we would humble ourselves, uh, and we must make pala, pala, an earnest prayer. Not this damn false stuff that we are so accustomed to, but it must be one that endears Yah to you. If we would make pala, and he said, I want you to bachash, uh, to seek, uh, to inquire, to require, to direct your attention. Uh, I want you to bachash, seek. He says, what he wants us to seek, he says, my ponim, my presence, my honor. That is ponim, my perfection, my presence among you. If we humble ourselves and we make earnest prayer, we set our attention on the things that are heavenly, that are above. He said, and seek my face. And then we must turn from our evil, our rah, our evil derach, our evil ways, the way we are traversing, the way we are traveling. That's what way or derach is, the way that we are accustomed to doing things, our actions and our reactions. Because all of our ways seems right, doesn't it? 
all the ways of a man, they're right in his own eyes. But yeah, he ponders the nefesh. He weighs the balance of a man. What is in him will reflect outwardly. I will, my friend. I shall go ahead. Yah says, if they would turn from the evil ways, uh, then he says, then will I shemach. I will hear. Do you understand shemach? He said, if they do this, then when they pray, he said, I will hear them to obey. I will hear to obey. That is what shemach is. Shemach. Yisraya, ya is ita, he is one. I will hear them to obey. I will hear them attentively with my love. I will pour out my ruach among them and grant unto them what delights in my bosom. If we delight ourselves in Yah, what do we delight ourselves in? The Torah. Then Yah will give us the very desire. I know how the, this whole house has used that. We began to delight in Torah. We began to allow the ordinance uh, and the province of Yah to assemble our actions and our deeds uh, in our minds. Uh, he will begin to write in our bosom the desires uh, that pleases Him. Yeah. And then He will bring it to pass, not a damn Cadillac, like, a fine house on the hill. Uh, faggots got that. The wicked got that. We've been taught this life from this... Uh, Vile slut, this religious harlot. Aza ain't taking nothing back. Aza ain't going to apologize either. Hallelujah. Not one bit at all. I'm a warrior. I'm a Uriah. I'm here to die. That's what I am. I'm a warrior. And a warrior doesn't mind getting dirty, he doesn't mind getting his feet all muddied. When I was in the military, I knew I could have gone to Vietnam. Yet I had men to prepare me for the battle mindset and physically as well to handle the opposition. Sure. So we must, in this Akhrith, we must go and prepare ourselves. We must prepare ourselves for the healing. I want to move quickly, all right. You all just must forbear me. Yah says, then I will shemak, I will listen to them to obey uh, from Hashemaam. Uh, he says, and I will shalach. I will shalach, I will pardon. When a man sins a pardon, uh, they're never brought up again. But there's a process to be pardoned. A man must seek the government of the state here to get a pardon. We saw the man that was just executed in Georgia. We would think that the president of the United States had preeminence. He has no preeminence uh, or a jurisdiction of the state of Georgia because it was a state crime. The only crimes he can intervene in, they must be federal. Those are the ones he can only pardon. Uh, those that are the federal crime. And Yah says, although your sins are egregious, uh, he says, I will show shalaka. I will pardon you. And there's the remembrance in my heart. Cast our sins away as far as the east is from the west. Can you tell me how far that is? I don't know. I'm not that wise. I cannot tell you. Yah says, and I will shalach their hatta, the guilt of sin. When Yah deals with our hatta, he dealing with, we're guilty. Yahshua came not to destroy the earth. He didn't come to condemn it. Because it was already Russia, it was damned. He said, damn this wicked place. It was already damned to the gates of hell. He said, then will he forgive our sins. Not this damn mess we have been taught. Oh, say, oh, Lordy Jesus, forgive me. Damn there, Lordy Jesus, uh, for my sins. Uh, and then they continue in the damned of the wicked ways. They are reproach unto Almighty Yah. We wonder why our bodies are denying us uh, and forsaking us. We've gone away from the healing power of Yah. He says, when you do all that, he said, and then I will Rafa. I will heal. This is what his Rafa is. He said, I will restore my favor among them. 
I will make them healthy. Their ponim, their face, their countenance uh, shall be healthy. Why are we so downcast, Yisra'ya? Yeah. Why is our countenance down? Yeah. Why is there not the light of your shoe, that testimony in us? Yeah. Because we really don't have much to do with We might as well be honest with ourselves. Uh, we think highly of ourselves and what belongs to us. But we don't think highly of the other ones, do we? We don't esteem others, but we say, well, I'm a mighty man of God. No, no, you're not. Because a man of great strength will never say that. A man of tenacity, he will not tell, have to tell you he's a man of tenacity. I am a warrior. That's what I am. What is a warrior? Can I tell you what a warrior is? He has a cause that is greater than any damn cause he has. There is a cause before him that is greater than anything he desires. And that is the cause of the master. I'm here to fight. I'm here to defend Yeshua. I'm here to defend the message of Yeshua Hamashiach. That's why I'm a warrior. See, the cause of Uriah was greater than land with the beautiful Bathsheba. It was greater, so my cause is greater than mine. I have no agenda. My agenda is his. If we would just obey Yah, he says, uh, turn from all of our wickedness, uh, then he would rafa, he would restore us, Yisra'ah. He will make us healthy, and it will be a personal thing as well. Uh, as he makes us whole in your Shua HaMashiach, he said, I will heal your erach, your city, your land, your erach, your earthly vessel, and I will heal the whole land. He's got a Yisra'ah brought. We're supposed to bring healing to the nations. We're supposed to bring healing. We're not supposed to be like the Goyim, the Gentiles, the heathens. Uh, and we act more silly and wicked than they do. Uh. You said even the Gentiles don't even go after the damn gods. Uh, you wicked folks go after. We like to be uh, pampered. Come on. I don't like pampering. That's a fact. <clears throat> no. I like to hit the road. I don't like to sit around and do nothing. I like to work. I like to sweat. I like to make my face sweat. And the harder it gets, the more I like it. And that's just the truth. You're boasting, no, that's just how I am. I like to work hard. Hallelujah. Because as long as he put this mighty breath in me. Come on, Yisrael. This is where the condition of the healing of the nation begins, Yisra'ah. This is where it began. Well, what is the process of our teshuva as Zohin Yaramiah has brought out so many times in the teaching and the preaching he has presented unto us uh, that we make teshuva or shuv, we turn around. We turn around from the wicked path that we're pursuing. Uh, he says here in the book of Yeremiah, the children of Yisra'ah, we must begin to express our sorrow. Unto Yana repentance. We don't do that. So the Nobi says unto them, in order for Yah began to uh, eradicate from the midst of you uh, those things that are causing the dilemmas in the midst, you must begin to adhere to what he says. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 21. It says that a voice was heard upon the high places. It tells us weeping. Supplication of the children of Yisrael, for they have, he says, they have avowed, they have perverted. We have not twisted anything, have we? We have twisted, we have distorted, we have misaligned, we have brought a malign spirit among the emet of Yah. They have twisted their way. That is singular. We individually have twisted our way. We have twisted our way. The voice cries from the high place, from the he, the mountaintop of Almighty Yah, the place that is exceedingly high. And not only does it cl uh, uh, cries out from the hair of the mountaintop, but it cries out from the rush, the hair of man. We have all gone about establishing our own sadiq, our own righteous ways, and they are wicked, Yisrael. He said they have twisted their ways. Why? And they have forgotten Yah there about. We haven't done that, have we? We forget him in the morning. 
we forget him in the noonday. And be the shame when we come into his house, we forget him. Well, I don't say much. Damn your wicked flesh. Curse that vile thing. You need to impel the affections and the lusts of your flesh daily. And began to perfect the set of partners of the Kodesh of Yah by the testimony of Yahshua in your bosom, Yisrael. Something is twisted in our damn minds when there is no offering unto Yah. There's nothing in the Torah that has changed. We must present the praise offering, the offerings of our lips, the Torah unto Yah. You go in the store and, and after the cashier says thank you, so thank you. Come on, Yisrael. You go somebody probe all up in your body, some doctor. Thank you, Mr. Doctor. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on here. Yeah, yeah when it comes to you, yeah, there is nothing in our mouth. Something is twisted. We have perverted. We have twisted. We have twisted our way. We smile. Oh, thank you, Mr. Doctor. Thank you, Miss Boss Man. Thank you for my chance. Thank you, Miss Boss Man. Come on here. I'm not leaving one stone unturned. But when it comes to Yah, we don't say, I want to thank you, thank you, Yah. Oh, thank you, thank you, Yah. Oh, you bless me too. We don't say that. Our hearts are not filled with the shimcha or the joy, the delight of Yah. And the reason why, because we're sick. When someone is lying on the bed sick, they don't talk much, they just moan, yeah. Just pray for me. Because we're sick people. When we have the health of Rafa, he is our Rafa. We get up. We dance in the Ruach of Yah. You don't have to buy it. I will buy the truth and sell it not, all right? Moving on. He says uh, in verse 22, the kindness and the naham. The mercies of Yah, he says, Shub, return. He calls us a Shabba, a backslidden people. You understand what a Shabba or backslidden people is? It is a people that is apostate. We are an, idolat an idolatrous people. We worship our children, hell about some idols. Nobody's going out here bound down to no cow, no calf, or no. You bow down to your cat like. You bow down to the boss man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Bob Man. I will, man. We will denounce what your commands, his modem, his shabbat. Yes, sir, Mr. Boss Man. Yes, sir. I as we do. Yes, sir. Come on, Yisrael. That's what the shabbat is a backsliding. We bow down to everything but Yah. We don't bend our knees to Yah. We'll, we'll sit before Yah, but the boss will yes, sir. Y yes, sir. We bow our backs. We bow our wheel. We bow our hearts. When it comes to Yah, we don't do that. Come on. We're sick. The whole head is sick. The leaders are sick. We are sick. Uh, and the people are sick. So we must begin the healing process. Uh, and it begins with us, Yisrael. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm moving on. He says, returned. Uh, you should buy you apostate idolatrous. Is he talking to his children? Children, his being, his am, his people. He says, and I will, Rafa, I will heal you. So we got to repent and not repent to repent again, but we must repent. And when we want to repent, you don't do the same thing over. That's a hypocrite that constantly repents of the same thing. Because one is aware of the kindness of Yah, his hasit, his mercies of kindness and tenderness, and his heart cries because he's given him another day. Hallelujah. He said, then I will rough out your backslide. He says, behold, they said, behold, we come to you, for you are Yah, our Abba. That's what we must say, Yah, we come to you. We come to you, you are our Abba. He must tell us the state of our nature. We have backslidden. We have shabba. We have gone into an apostate idolatry mindset. We esteem our things, our homes, our children. I don't give a damn how wicked they are. I don't care how corrupt they are. We lift them up. 
We esteem them. We esteem ourselves. I don't want nobody esteeming me. I don't want nobody lifting me up. I don't want nobody. Shaul said, I've learned how to be exalted and also to be a base as well. I prefer being a base. As the old folks said, if you keep yourself proper, if you're down, you won't have very far to fall. So I have nowhere to fall. Hallelujah. So it begins with that shub, teshuva. We're acknowledging our sins, our deeds. We repent, Yisra'ya. He said, and then I will rafa. I will heal you. I'll make you whole. I'll make you healthy. Hallelujah. I will strengthen your Lord. I will strengthen my greater is he that is in me than he that is in. Come on. He said that my testimony will be the resolve of your bosom. You will have a mighty strength and men will know. Men will know that you are the zero of the seed of Yisrael. You are my elect. You are my chosen one. Don't tell me the nations know that. That's why Yah calls uh, Yisra'ah, Yah, and you think you're going to define them by some pigmentation of their skin. You are a damn fool. We have become immersed like the nations. We are the Goim. He did not say that Abraham would be the father of a nation. He said Ishmael, out of the zero of Abraham, only one will be the father of a nation, a people. But he said that out of Abraham there shall be nations. Goim, not a Goim. And Yisrael have become so immersed in the societies that they're in. You don't know them from those that are right. Those that are wrong. They look like the wicked. They act like the wicked. They talk like the wicked. And the only thing that is going to ignite that which he has written in us. Uh, is that we must understand and hear the power of the testimony of Yeshua HaMashiach. It was a precious bath that called me today from... Jackson, Mississippi. Her life, just in a turmoil, all her life. And of course, I am not one that is inquisitive or nosy, but I can sense when people call me a beautiful ruach. And I can sense those that I'm going to have to draw the sword, the kerep, and cut their damn head off. They think they're Philistines. You understand? But there was a sense of such beauty about her. And when I finished with her, she says, You has given me tikva. And, and I have a hope that I know that Yah will do all things according to his promises. Because she was downtrodden. I'm not going to tell you what we discussed. But believe me, you know what the promises of Yah are? The word promise in the Hebraic is the same as his word. It is Daba. And his promises is his Daba. That is the promise of Omar Yah. We must repent, Yisra'ah. Yah. We have backslidden. And we must acknowledge our backslidden, our Sheba, our apostate and idolatrous mindset. And then he will heal our backsliding. He begins there first. We must begin uh, with the backsliding. We slide away from the Torah when it comes to us, don't we? Uh, we look after that which is specific to us. That's why I say we don't know what Isahaba is. And his Ahaba, which is only the love of Yah, it is a love that is so tender. That's what he's trying to integrate in our bosom. I will, friend. Hallelujah. We need to labor to labor in the Torah, not reading every damn book, but labor in this book. In this book. This, those six, six little books will keep you busy for the rest of your life. And then when you think you've got someone, you've got to go back and say, my, how ignorant I am. I say that every day. I mean, I learned it, man, I'm ignorant. I'm not a polished man. Come on, let me move on. Hallelujah. Look, look what he says in the, in the 33rd chapter of Yeremiah. The restoration. He's going to restore Yisra'ah. Yeremiah 33, verse 6. I like this right here. I like this for me. If you don't like it, I like it. He's dealing, you must understand that the Nobi is dealing with the sin of Yisra'ah. And he utters here in Yeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter 33 and verse 6. Yah says, Behold, he says, I will bring it 
or I will bring it achruka or healthy. I will restore the soundness. I will bring it healthy and cure, and I will cure them, and I will reveal to them the abundance of shalom and truth. How does he do that? There's only one way that's going to be done through the, through the power of Yeshua. We don't know the great shalom of Yah. We don't have no shalom. We don't rest. We're not a rest for people. Our homes are in chaos. Sound coming here, sound there. Sound of the children here, daddy there, mama there. There's no cohesiveness. He said, I will bring the healing, the health to my people. I'll read. And I will bring the cure, which is the rafa, the healing of my people. He said, and I will heal them. I will rafa them. And I will reveal unto them, I will make known the abundance. Do you understand what abundance is? Hmm? It is not minuscule. It is not mi'at, lil or lilness. But it is the gadol of the greatness of Yah. He said, I will make known the abundance. Is Yoshua coming for a little peri fruit or he's coming for an abundance? Okay, you must have the abundance of shalom to have the abundance of fruit. You must have the abundance of shalom and strength to get in a, in a garden where it's 100 degrees and the bugs are pestering you all in your eyes, your ears, and everything. You city cats can't handle that now. You cannot. Yeah. That's all right, too. Hallelujah. I said to the people during the summer when the bees come in, I, a bee is more valuable to me than uh, I love to see the bees in the garden. And so what I will do when I see them, I will cut watermelons open for them. And just come on, Mr. Bee, set your hippies down and just, just drink all the juice you want. I'll go down the line and just bust watermelons just for the bees. Just. And I'd rather, I'd rather bees sting me than to kill a bee. And of course, when you're picking fruit, they're not worried about you. They're sitting there, and all of a sudden, when you grab one, you got to pay the price. Because they don't play at all. You feel a fire burning all in your hand. Whoa, my boy, he's on you. No, I don't throw him down and stomp him. I say, all right, Mr. B, <laughs> let me put you back here. <laughs> because you are the one that makes the fruits pollinate. And I appreciate you, Mr. B. I'm not upset with you. Come on, Yisra'ya. And so when the Torah of Yah stings on us, we should say, uh, sting again. Sting on me. No, I don't throw the bee down and say, you where? Yeah! And stomp that little thing. I make sure I don't hurt it. Because I need him sitting his little tush down. Uh, and pollinating. Yes sir. Yes ma'am. I don't do him no damage with that bug. I stomp that one in the ground. The sweetness of his Torah. When it stings us. Uh, we shall rejoice. And the filth of our Shuba Are backsliding uh, we should come against it with the greatest assault there is. We need healing, Yisra'ya. Yeah. We need healing. Yeah. We need the Rafa of Yah. We need to be whole. Yeah. We need our minds so we need to be sound. We're not a sound people. Yeah. We need soundness in this Akharif. So when the shofar, when the Melak sound the alarm, our minds are sound and ready. Yeah. We're not ready for what's ahead. We're not. And that's just the truth. We must make preparation. And it begins in Yah's house. Judgment begins here. So we must begin in this tabernacle, this body. We must begin to eradicate things, Yisra'ya. And cleanse ourselves from all the filthiness of our flesh. And your ruach as well. We must begin to do that. Hallelujah. He said, I will heal you. And that's only through this powerful revelation of the covenant of Yah and Yahshua. And he says in verse 7, And I will cause the captivity or the shibuth, the captivity of Yehuda, and the captivity of Yisra'ah to shub, to return. And I will build them as at the first. 
We are people that exclaim and proclaim. Oh, if I had been that with your shoe, I would have stood. You would have run like a cowardly rat. You don't stand for him now, so don't give me that damn lie. You can tell someone else and they will be impressed. Oh, I would have too, brother. I, I would have too. I would have just stayed there with him and I would have walked with him and I have done that with him and I have done that with him. They all forsook him. They all turned to their ways. We're forsaking y'all. We're forsaking the, forsaking the power of the testimony of Yeshua. We can do all things through Yeshua HaMashiach that gives us the strength of y'all. Here we can pray. We have no strength to discipline ourselves according uh, to the ordinance of Yah. And we're doing something. We're not doing anything. We're, we're a dismal mess. We have to be ashamed of ourselves. I'm ashamed of me. That's it. You may not be, but I am. When I see the vileness of this stuff here. Hallelujah. That's why I cut it out. It's a cancerous disease. And you must attack it with all your vigor and everything that is in you, Yisrael. And we need the nobi of Yah, the Yah, he raises him up. We need messengers of strength and knowledge. Not men with zeal, you can find them all day long. We need men that have da'at, 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 da'at. They discern, they know, they can, they can see through the veneer of the flesh. And attack the withhold of the vigor of Yah. We need that. And they're represent, representative of the, of the warriors of the kingdom. Sure they should be. Hallelujah. Their lives are disciplined. Their homes are disciplined. Their actions are based upon the disciplines of, of Torah. Hallelujah. That's a fact. Hmm? No man can rule the house of Yah if his house is not ruled correctly. That's what Yah says. I, that's not what I say. His, his sons and his daughters must be in subjection unto the Torah of Yah. Come on, hell, you got a man ruling the house of Yah and his sons and daughters are doing everything. She's coming in like a dirty little slut, nasty little whore. He's coming in doing his thing, banging and jamming and booming and bopping. No. They must be the representatives of, of the authority and the wisdom of their, their avats. Come on, Yisrael, yeah, we got this thing wrong. Hallelujah. Can I go a little farther, a little deeper? Let us examine what the Nomi Hoshea says in Hoshea, Hosea chapter 6 verse 1. Moving along expeditiously, and he exalts us as I am doing today to repent, Yisraya, Hoshea 6 and 1. He says, Bo enter in, come let us return. Let us return back. Let us return to Yah. Let us return to the principles of Torah. Let us return our hearts and our minds to faithful obedience. He said, come, let us return to Yah. For he has taraf. He has torn. He has taraf. He has supplied us with food. I know we think that means that he has ripped things apart, but he has taraf. He has supplied the food did he not do that and we rejected it haven't we Yahshua said in order for you to be one of the disciplined order you must take this body my flesh you must eat it and you must drink it for my flesh is meat indeed and my body is drink indeed we must search out the definitives of every word because it's pure unto Yah every word of Yah is pure Every word that he speaks, uh, we must examine every word carefully. Uh, it's almost like in a contract that people get caught up. Uh, they buy the house uh, and they just see the large print, but they don't see the little thing. Uh, so this little word torn, we don't see that. He says, uh, and Yah will provide you with food uh, and he will rafa us. Uh, he has uh, naka, he has smitten, he has beaten us. He has brought death unto Yisrael. He has naka, and he will have us, he will bind us. He will be the one that put the bandages on us. His habash, he will govern us. He will govern us by his Torah. He will habash, he will govern us. Don't we want Yah to govern us? Do you want, I want him to govern me. And he said, he will, uh, he will, uh, he will bind us, Habash. I know we think that me, he's going to put some, some, some of the ointment in our wounds, but, but he will govern us. 
He will govern us through the midst of the great afflictions and the trouble. He's going to heal us, Yisrael. He will bind us up. And after two days, it's been two days almost, hasn't it? 2,000 years since he hang on that stake. He said after two days, that's what he said. Did not Zakin Yaramaya from Shefa teach us on last night that no man has to live the day on the side of Yah? A day is like a thousand years, a thousand years is like a day after two days. After two days. After two days, and we're in that two-day time, all right? Uh, will he revive? He will uh, He will quicken us, as the old folks would say. He's going to quicken us after two days. He shall quicken us. And in the third day, did he get up? Did he get up on the third day? He said on the third day, he will raise Yisrael. Come on, Yisrael. We're in the hour of the third day, my people. He's going to raise us up. The third day he's going to raise up. Yeshua say, on the third day I'm getting up. And his body was not corrupt. It was not. The grave did not corrupt him. And the grave of his flesh did not corrupt us, Yisraya. He said, on the third day, he's going to raise us up. Hallelujah. That's all right. I can buy that. You don't have to. He said, and we shall live and we shall chaya. We shall have Hi, we shall live with strength and might. We shall live in his sight, in his palim, his presence, before his face. That's what he said. This is the promise unto us. He's going to heal us. He will heal us. He's going to raise us on the third day. And then we're going to dwell in his presence. He said, then shall we know, we shall yada, we shall experience. We shall understand with fullness. We shall yada. If we follow on to know, to yada, ya. We must understand his going forth uh, is prepared as the morning. Uh, don't we see how the morning prepares itself? We see the rising of the sun. Did we not hear the al Zakin say the other night uh, that there's nothing more beautiful when the sun began to rise uh, on the mouth and the hair of Yah? See, I listen to what others say. You may not, but I do. I listen. We are people that talk through our own mind, but I listen. Hear, O Yisrael, yeah, we must shimach. He said, prepare as the morning, and he shall come to us as the rain. As Zakin talked about the former and the latter rain, and he says, uh, and the latter rain and the former rain uh, to the earth, what earth? The earthen vessels. Uh, he's going to pour the power of his ruach in the acharith in the last hour of the last day. He must pour out the latter rain. Whereby that our sons and our daughters shall prophesy, they shall, uh, they shall nabah, they shall nabah. That's what prophecy is. Uh, it is the utterance of Yah's voice or his speech uh, of things that shall be, will be, or have been. That doesn't make one a prophet because one nabah, that doesn't make them a nobi. They shall prophesy. When the Lord will pour out of the rain, we are backslid, so we're not here. He can't pour it out. But he's going to pour it out. He may not come when you want, but he's on time. Oh, he's on time. Yeah, he's on time. Yeah, he is. When I was in the world, I liked like a fool. I did. I like a fool. And I'm a madman for y'all. I'm going to cry loud. Well, people, you tend to say things that people don't like. I don't give a damn. You say and do things that Yah hates. He hates this generation. He hates this nation. If it wasn't from the, for the promises of unto Abraham, we sons of Yaakov would be obliviated. He will show mad, destroy us into hell. It's only because of the promise. We haven't done a damn thing. We don't, we labor to sin, to walk wickedly. We don't labor to do what's right. When a man labor, when he comes home in the evening, you know he's labored. He's, he's done. Hallelujah. You don't know how that is done. Come here during the summer, I'll show you. You, you better make sure you got your working shoes on. And you're working hot. I'll give you some gloves. And we'll find out where your heart is. 
Hmm. I will. Take him over there on the wood pile and just. Huh? Isn't that right? It is right. We'll find out where your heart is. We'll see what it's pumping. In the days that you're pumping wolf tickets of truth. Come on. Hallelujah. You think you're going to be able to do it the rest of your life? I'll do it until I drop. How about that? I'd rather drop out in the fields. Yes, sir. Let me die there. Not laying on no bed. Let me die there, y'all. That's my desire. I don't want to, come on. Let me die in the fields. Hallelujah. That's where I want to die. One of the most profound utterance, we know that Eyo, y'all called them his three re'ach, friends, and they were friends. And these men were older than Eyo, too, probably. I had it all figured out when I got to find that. One day I'll go back again. These men, they were not 30, 40, 50 years old. They all were, these were men that were, these were men that were renowned with his father. These men were 160 years or better older than Eob. And so Eliphaz, as he see the uh, dissertation of Eob, he resorted and he spoke unto the man. He says this in the book of Job, Eob, Job 5. I like this here. He says, uh, what he was trying to do is says, uh, he was said unto Eob, you must have the Esha. And the Esha is the richest of Yah's happiness. You remember that song that came out many years ago, Just Be Happy, Be Happy? Come on, you're all over 50, 40, you know what I'm talking about. It was a silly old song, uh, Just Be Happy. Huh? So a lot of, made a lot of money too. Just be happy. And so Eliphaz, as he speaks unto him, uh, he was saying, shut your mouth, Eob. See, Yah did not restore him until he prayed for those men because they were honest uh, and straightforward with him. Yeah. We like liars, so we accompany ourselves with the tongue of a shekh, ah, lies of a shatan. But he utters this unto the man. He says, Eob, uh, you think you know Yah? He says, uh, Eob 518, for he, for Yah, he makes sore. He binds up, he wounds, and his hands make rafa. He heals. His hands make whole. He will cut your head off. And when they say it cannot, there is no mending, he said, I put it back on. I like that. I'm glad he can do that. He make us sore. He wounds us. How? With our friends. For we are wounded in the house of our friends. Is Yahshua our friend? Did he not call us his friend? So he wounds us. He wounds us with that sword. So Yah wounds us, Yisrael. We got to get that through our, the cognizance of our mind. He says, uh, he makes sore, he binds up, uh, he wounds, uh, and his hands make us rafa. He makes us whole. He said that to Eyo, that you must rejoice in all your situations and shout. To the praises of Yah. Yeah. This is a continuous theme throughout the book. I can show you again. Turn back to, to Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah. Where he encouraged Yisrael to trust in the Daba, the word, the Torah of Yah. This is what I'm trying to do for us today. We trust in every damn thing. You trust in drugs, you don't even know the name of the drug. They give these drugs, all these Latin names, open up the doors, all these demons. You have no emuna. we have no faith. You know what emuna is? We think we understand what love is. We need men to search the Torah. The word emuna, it is a composition of the purest of Yah's love. When you love just like Zakin, Zakin, yes, he talked about his daddy. How his daddy, if his daddy said this, he loved his daddy. His daddy loved him because he had faith in his daddy. He had confidence in his daddy. Come on, Yisra'ya. That's the composition of Imun, our faith. It is love. We have no faith because we love not you. And we love the drugs. The old folks got to get their drugs and they pump the drugs in their buttocks. You understand? Drug on my baby. Something is wrong with us. Where's that Rafa? 
in the Akhrith. They don't even have the plants and the material today to, for the drugs that are needed. So they prescribe the pharmaceuticals, uh, one or two drugs for everything, and people buy it. Got, granny got to go to the drugstore. She's no different than going out there getting the crack. Talk to me. Got to get my mama's drugs. Got to get daddy's drugs. Uh, you know they call them drugs, don't you? The from here, the deception, or it deludes the mind. I'd rather suffer in the pain that my mind is clear. Let me die that way, y'all. You don't take me to no hospital. If I fall afflicted where they put drugs in my body, I can't move. I can't think. I have no confidence. I want my mind to be clear. Then I can say, y'all take me on. Take me on, y'all. Hallelujah. That's what I want. I don't want my mind drugged up. I don't want that, Yisra, I ain't going to let you do that to me. Don't drug my mind up like that. The drugs, they call them drugs. We need a drug bill for the elders. We need the drugs. Y'all may get upset, but it's still the same. He is a Rafa. He is a healer. He is a healer, Yisra, Jeremiah says here in Jeremiah 30, verse 13. Let me move quickly. I want to close up. He says, there is none to plead your cause that you may be bound up. You have no healing in your refuah, your medicine. Where is the healing in the medicine? For the last 30 years, they, they have been, they've had this assault on cancer, have they not? And look at the, all the varieties and the forms of cancer. We've turned away from the law of Yah. We're eating that which is unclean. I want to say to us all, you that are listening, something is sick in your damn mind. You go out here to these damn filthy restaurants and let some little gal on her monthly ministration cook you a hamburger where they're frying pork and fat and all of that. You eat from that. That's where a lot of our problems are from. And that's a fact. They're cooking pork in the same oil. Shrimp. Crabs. It is truth, man. We go out after eating that. We can't stop it because we are addicted to it. We got to have it. You're sick in your mind. Some dirty little heifer. I will, man. That bothers me about the people of Yah. You go out there and eat that. You're not going to die if your gut get the having a little pain. You ain't going to die. No, it's not you're not. You ain't going to die. And you eat that trash. Was it food that destroyed Hava and Adon? The enemy is slick. Yah said, as it was in the days of Noach, so it shall be in the days of the coming of Yeshua HaMashiach. They were what? Eating. And they were drinking, they were marrying, and they were giving in marriage. So that's what we're doing today. We're eating. Hell, you can't stop by the Bobos. You got to get to the Kentucky Fried. You got to get to the Macadies. I will. You got to go to the all you can eat. Little nasty youngers digging in their nose, boogers, playing around, and you go in there and eat that damn mess. I'm not going to touch it. I'd rather go get me an apple. Or just let the hunger pain. That's all right. I'll eventually get something. I'll eventually get something. Cook that for me, mama. That's right. Hallelujah. I don't care whether I'm flying or walking or driving. We got to stop that, Yisrael. This is the assault. We know that this is the assault on our bodies by the enemy. We know that that's an assault on our bodies by the enemy. We got to stop that. We got to stop that. Our bodies cannot dis. Disperse that damn mess. Get me a piece and make a piece of mama. Daddy learn how to make a damn pizza. Some little booger thumper, thumping boogers. Uh, dig it in their butt. She's on a monthly stretch of the leg blood. Yeah, yeah I'll talk that way. Preparing your pizza. Are you supposed to be set apart? And you go, oh, that, that's nice. He said, look at him. He doesn't realize he's eating a booger. I saw a little clip one time where they literally took their buttocks and wiped and sent the piece out. And they thought it was funny. That's a fact. They got fired, but come on. They sent the piece out. The boy opened his crack. 
I'm not lying to you. You think that that's not the norm, it is the norm. And you wonder why your body cannot, come on Yisraya, stop eating that damn mess. Eat the Torah of Yah. Cook woman, cook man. You don't know how to cook, learn how to cook. My wife taught me the principles of cooking. 34 years ago, fried chicken, fried chicken wings too, broccoli with cheese and rice. Once she put me through that gate, I didn't need nothing else. I can cook. I can cook. You understand? I can cook and I create my things. Come on, yes, that's, that's one of our major dilemmas. And that's why Hashat that he's trying to find Yisra'ya. So he got these eateries of darkness on every corner. You can't, you go, you drive in somewhere, you go through town. Oh, that, you smell that? Yeah, let's go over there. Let me have some of that. What is that? Give me some of them crab legs. Oh, oh no, we, we eat clean. Well, you buy another place where they sh sell shrimp? Well, I go to show they sell shrimp there. They sell crabs. Oh, you think they got a different vat for that? No. They fry it all in the same, the poisonous mess, pork fat. Just like someone eating pork and beans. Come on, that's crazy. You might as well just get your wob of fat back. And we're eating the unclean things, and the enemy is so stealthy now. He's incorporating them in all kinds of ingredients, in everything, and we're eating that. We must make our diet simple. I just eat a few foods. All day. My eating is just a few little things. I don't have a large variety of what I eat. I really don't. Just a few little things. Well, I love fried chicken, but I love living too. So I won't eat the fried chicken because I like living. Well, I like pecan pie, but I don't want no pecan pie because I like living. You understand? I know what it does to my teeth. I love steak, but I don't eat steak because I know what it does to me. You understand? Come on. You all must well love me. I'm going to close out here. Is that all right, my Zachin? Can I preach a little bit? All right, then. Yeremiah says, 30, 14. He says, all your lovers, they have a shakha. They have forgotten you. They don't give a damn. They don't care for you. They ignore you. Jeremiah 30, 14. Yeremiah. They seek you not. Yah said, for I have wounded you. With the wound of an enemy. You tell me y'all would do that? He read that he's going to dash your babies. He's going to cut them in pieces. Yes, I've wound you with the wound of a, an enemy. He said with the chastisement of, of a cruel lord. Why? For the multitudes of our iniquity. If we sow to the flesh, we're going to reap of the flesh. We're going to reap corruption. And we sow to the ruach, we're going to reap life everlasting. So we have done much to sow to our flesh. I never forgot one day if as the word became so revealed unto me as, yeah, how is it that people say that on the dying bed, people find you and they get right? And, the, and this analogy began to be created in my mind as though the words were saying to me, son, do you know your natural father? No, sir. Never met him. And I was a 24, 25-year-old young man, had never met my natural father. He said, how did you find him? This is what, Yah wasn't talking to me, but this is how the heart was pouring out the wisdom of Yah, even in my stupidity and my ignorance. He said, you must begin by what? Searching the records. And then you must search the records. You got to seek out. You got to search out every door and every corridor. And then once you find him, uh, you will know. You're not getting it right on some damn deathbeds. And that's a fact. That's a fact. These are doctrines created from hell to satisfy the wicked. I'm not here to satisfy our wicked propensity. I'm here to destroy it, to bring it down to the gates of hell. I'm here to break our will, that not my will, but your hafiz, your pleasure, what please your heart, your desire. I want to do that. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yah says, I'm going, to, I'm going to chastise you as of a cruel one for the multitudes of your ovon, your iniquity, your, your, your perverse, your idolatrous, wicked ways. Uh, Yah says, because your hatta, your sins uh, were increased. Uh, 
And he says, why cry you for your afflictions? Your sorrow is incurable for the multitudes of your iniquity. Because your sins were increased, uh, yes, I've done these things to you. Jeremiah, verse 16, because our sin increased. Then that's why we are suffering the afflictions we all. Because we're not cognate of what Yah says. We don't take heed to what Yah says. Yah says unto us in verse 16, Therefore, all they that devour you shall be devoured. He said, they're going to come against my people, but I got them. And all of your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, Shibuth. And they that spoil you shall be small. And all that prey upon you will I give for a prey. Now, why is Yah doing this? Because Yah is the only one that disciplines us. He always disciplines his people. He has always disciplined us. And he will until we come into the kingdom. Verse 17, for I will allow, he said, I will restore. I will cause the power towards the spring forth, to spring up, to come out, to shoot out like the vegetables in the soil. If you never started a seed, and when I start seeds, I go and watch them every day. I know most seeds, it takes 10 days for germination. It is nothing like seeing the head of that seed comes up. You know it's life. Nothing comes up, there is no life, just right here. There's nothing like it. Look at that garden over there. Look at all the beauty of that garden. Just how beautiful that is. Oh, come on. There's nothing like the beautiful seed that comes up. And that's what the word allowed me to see the fruit of the, of the seedling as it began to shoot up from the ground. Yah says, and I will restore, I will restore your health. There's no healing in our medicines. It's nice for the herbs and all of that, but he gave us a healing process. Not do as those are misreading. He gave us that. And the doctors defy that. They do. They put you on every kind of damn drug it is. They're killing the people. They're killing us with the synthetic forms of death. They're trying this man out here for killing Michael Jackson. There are 350,000 people every year down in the hands of the doctor for their malpractice. That's why Congress did such a tremendous thing under the Bush era to rescind or to make sure that there's a certain limited amount of money you can re recoup from the doctors. They experiment on you. They make money from the pharmaceuticals, from Ikea, to prescribe you drugs. Something is wrong. There was a man called me recently. He was in the hospital just weeping. He says to me, Uriya, the pills I bought, they are $110 a piece. I said, man, hell, the crack dealers don't have a markup like that. That's the market to be in, man. $110 a piece. Now the boys in Miami are not making that on STC and Oxy. Ask old Mr. Rush Limbaugh. Oxy code no. $100 a pill? That's bad to the bone, man. Yeah. And they have you so traumatized, you know you're not going to live without it. Come on. We got to get the heart of Ejo. Yeah. Though he slay me. If he moose on my me, he kill me. Yet, I will trust in him. We must trust him. He is our Rafa. He said, I will restore. I will cause your health to come to you. He said, I will Rafa you of your wounds, says Yah. Because we have been called a Nadakh, an outcast. Was not your sure outcast? I'm glad, call me an outcast. We have been called an outcast. We have been thrust out. We have been driven away. We're, we're, we're twisted. He said, because you're the outcast, I'm going to heal you. He says, say, saying, this is Tizayun, the house of Yisrael. He said, whom no man seek after. No man seek for the welfare of his people. We don't seek after the welfare of Yisrael. Every man is seeking 
his own. We don't really care about the health of Yisrael. And that's wrong, Yisrael. We are one body, are we not? Come on, something is wrong when we began to compartmentalize that body. These here, those, that, this, that, this. That's wrong. When, you, when your toe hurt, every part of you feel that, doesn't it? So when there's wonders afflicted among Yisrael, yeah, we all should feel that. I was talking to our precious uh, Thomas there in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, his grandson, he wants us to know that his grandson is up. He's aroused. He's running around. So we brought you for that. Uh, and also our Achot Mariana as the agony of a heart. Uh, we pray for you, our precious daughter there in Indiana. May the riches of your strengthen your heart. And our thy we there in Scotland. Uh, may you heal your house and your, your issue and your children. May he strengthen your bosom, my ark. We pray for them. Come on, Yisrael. When one part of the body is hurting or alienated, then the whole body is afflicted. Uh, Something is wrong if we don't have that kind of a concern, Yisraya. Something is drastically wrong in our spiritual logics. He said, I'm going to heal you because you, you're called the outcast. And I'm going to bring you home unto me, Yisraya. This should be our cry right here. Can I show you what we should cry? Turn quickly to Yeremiah 17 verse 14. This should be our cry. Hallelujah! This should be our crowd right here. Yeremiah 17, 14. Uh, I'm going to do like my leader, my Zakin. Yeremiah last night. Uh, when you get that, Yeremiah 17, 14, say, Amen. Amen. Come on, let's read it together. He says what? Heal me, Rafa me. Uh, who? Amen. Oh, yeah. And what you will know, I shall what? I shall be healed. He says what? Deliver. You are shock. Deliver me. And what? I and I shall be delivered for you or what? See, we're not healed. And we're not delivered. That's why he's not our praise. That's why he's not our praise. Heal me. Will the heal? Look hands of you. Oh, he shall. Heal Israel, oh, heal us, heal us, yeah. Heal your people, Israel. We shall praise His name when we're truly healed. When we're truly healed, come on. I get on Zakane about crying. That almost that wants to make that wants to. His granny would say that wants to make me cry. Heal me. And I shall yada, I will know I'm here. Your shock, deliver me, and I will know that I'm delivered. And you shall, you shall be my tefirat, my praises, y'all. He's not our praise because we're not here. And we're not delivered. You can talk all that talk you want to. There are those out there that try to challenge me at times, but they really don't have anything. I let men call and they begin to talk and just talk, talk, talk. As, as what's her name says, all I hear is talk, 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 talk. Cluck, 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 cluck. That's all I hear. Talk, talk, talk. Cluck, 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 cluck. Like a barnyard chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Talk, talk, talk. And I let them talk. And all of a sudden, I pulled the dagger out and I began to drive it in the top of their heads. And once I began to drive that dagger, they all get a little perturbed and disturbed with me. But that's all right. I don't mind that. I tried to cut the head off. Heal me, Yah, and I shall be healed. Deliver me, Yah, shack me, and I shall be delivered. For you are my praise. You are my wonderful one. Who is our praise? We praise our children, our wives, our husband. We praise everything. Our jobs, our home. We praise our doctors, our lawyers. But Yah should be our praise, Yisrael. Yeah. You shall be my praise. Hallelujah. Yeshua, Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. I want to finish before 
nine. I want to finish before then, but you all did sing a little while. Because of this we are healed. Yeshua 53, 5. But he was wounded. He was hala. He was wounded for our fesha or our transgressions, our wickedness, our rebelliousness. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of the Muzah, the counsel of Yah, the chastisement of our Shalom was upon him. And with his uh, Haburah, Haburah, his stripes. The Haburah, the Haburah, the Haburah, the stripes of Yahshua. We are Rafa, we are made whole. Those stripes made us whole. We are pack of damn hypocrites if we, if we take that lightly. We take that lightly. I'm preaching to us tonight that it began the healing process. We began to change. We began to turn around on everything. Our walk, our dietary law, the way we eat, our actions, and all of that. We're going to have to be whole and strong in the ocarina of the last days of y'all. You're not going to make it if you have no strength. It's by the scars of Yahshua. Come on, Yisrael. It's by his habura. His habura. The stripes of Yahshua. He said, there is where the Rafa is. We don't want to go touch the stripes. We don't want to feel the stripes of Yahshua. Come on. He was impaled for our sins. It's a damnable shame, our actions and our disregard to what Yah says. And so what a must just speak on this in this kind of tone of voice. We reject him. He's not favorable unto me. I'm not trying to be favorable unto this corrupt flesh of mine that despise Yah. Fight against him that's angry with Yah. I am not, I am not trying to be favorable with this Yisra'ya. I will show us one of the most profound principles of Yah for the healing of Yisra'ya. It is in the Torah. Can I read that to us? I will direct your attention, your uzin, your ayin, to that place. Your spiritual understanding or the opening of your eyes, or the opening of your spiritual insight. It is in the book of Dibarim. Dibarim or in the book of Shemoth. In the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 26. Exodus, Shemoth, Exodus 15, 26. Yah says this, Exodus 15, 26. If you will diligently shamach, hear me to obey. You know when one puts a diligent effort, it is the most earnest, the most forthright effort. He puts all. If we will diligently listen to the voice which is the call, when Yah speaks, it is the sum of who he is. If we listen and the word all as our Zokin brought out to us, it is the same as his voice. It is kola, kola. So when he speaks, that is the psalm of whom he is. He said, we will listen to the voice of Yah, your Abba. And will do that which is Yosha, which is straight, upright. In my days, we would say, man, you got to be straight with me now. Come on, don't be straight. Come on, be straight. That's the way we talk. And you know when someone said to be straight, to be forthright, to be honest. Hallelujah. Yeah. And we do that, or oh, we as fashion ourselves to accomplish what is upright, which is pleasing to Yah, in his sight, his ponim, his face. And give ear to his mitzvah. These are the mitzvah of Yah that governs us, Yisrael. He said, we give ear to the mitzvah and keep not some, but all of his chukha, or his chukna, his statues, his chukha, all of his statues. He said, I will put none of these diseases uh, upon you, uh, which I have brought upon Misraim, uh, for I am Yahweh Rapha, I am Yah that healed you. Do we believe that? If we adhere to the counsel, the Musa, the discipline, his Musa, he was chastised. That is the Musa of Yah. That is the counsel. We need counseling. We need those to counsel us. He is our Rafa. We must understand that. Israel, we got to begin to trust him. Hallelujah. We must. That's why 
I don't preach on a variety of things, but I can preach on anything. Our minds are really not healed to hear the things. We wouldn't know how to digest it or to, uh, 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 to, to receive it. That's just the truth. How can a man pick up 250 pounds when he can't pick up 40? You can't bench press 400 pounds until you get through 100 or 200 or 300. And it doesn't come overnight. You can't squat 500 pounds if you can't squat 100 pounds. You can't leg press seven, eight 800,000 pounds if you don't begin with 100. It is a process of building. Come on, Israel. You don't get this overnight, two or three days, a year two. It takes a laboring. He is our Rafa. Isn't that important? That he is our Rafa. I want to conclude with a few verses here in the book of uh, Asseth Shilishiam, the apostles. The Shilishiam, the Shilishiam. The book of Acts, chapter 26, verse 18. This is the power, the works of Yeshua. He came to open the eyes of Yisra'ya, our ayin. He came to turn us from darkness as Zakain. So continuously he talked about the Hoshech, or the deep darkness that can be felt. He came to turn, Acts 26, 18, to turn us from the darkness of our own ways uh, to the awe, the light, the illumination of Yeshua HaMashiach. And from the power of Hashatan uh, to the power of Yah. What is the power of Yah? He is a Rafa. He is a Rafa to that power, to the power of Yah. That we might receive forgiveness of our sins uh, and inheritance among them that are kadosh by faith imuna that is in me. That's what Yahshua said. And he did not quote that of his own nature. He quoted what it said in Yeshaya chapter 42 verse 7. To open to paka the blind. To open the blind eyes. To bring out of prison those that the prisoners in prison. And to them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Yeshaya 42 8. I am Yah. That is my name. And my honor and my splendor would I not give to another. Neither my praises to a graven image. So Yahshua came, he is the light of Yah. He came to open our eyes. He came to cause us to see Yisrael. He, he came to give us insight into the Torah. That we may understand the Torah of delight. We got to trust Yah. We have trust everything but Yah. We trust it in this filthy flesh. And this generation will tell you don't trust man. In this damn generation, that's how we do trust man. We trust some of the most vilest and some of the most wickedest men. We don't trust the messengers of Yah. Let a man follow on you, you don't know nothing about him. Take your wife in a dark room and say, strip down. Let me see what's up in you. Let me see between your legs. You might as well say hallelujah. That's it. Stop that. Come on. Ain't no man looking at my woman like that. Mm -mm. You said out that, Mr. Jones? Mr. Roberts? No. Uh -uh. No, sir. The freaks that they have, the freaks in these hospitals, these drug freaks, these boys in these houses, you think these boys, these, these boys, they're taking those, what is that drug? They're taking it, called the smart drug. They, what they give the people, children that are, that, that are impeded by the, huh? It's, it's, really, it's not really, what is the other one? They call it the smart drugs. That stuff sell on these universities like Harvard's, the medical schools, for the children with ADC. They, what drug is that they use? I don't know. But that thing is more expensive than, uh, than crack. And it makes them, it, it, they say they can stay up and keep them alert, yet they're ready for the test and they're acing it. Come on. That's the truth. We close with this. We close the doors. All right. Back to Acts 28, 27. This is what is impeding us. This is the this is the thing that prevents us from moving on. Acts 28, 27, Shaul speaks here. For the love of this people is wax gross. It's heavy with sin. The ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed. Why? Least they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart, and then they shall be hafach or converted. They shall overthrow the nature of the flesh, and I should what? 
I should heal them. We don't want to hear Yah's word. We close our ears. We shut our eyes. We don't want to be converted. We don't want the hafak of Yah that he should heal us. As Yokohan writes unto Geisha, he says, Beloved, I would above all things that thou mayest prosper, shakha, and be in Rafa in hell, even as your nefesh, your soul, prosper. We must learn the ways of Yah. We must be taught. We need teachers. We need mothers. We need zakins. We need men to be examples. Their walk, their attitude, their strength. We must be taught Yisra'ya. And then as we learn, we, we prosper inwardly. And then we're in the health of Yah. We are healthy. We are strong. We are vibrant. And then we don't, the drugs of the food will not shut our mouths from crying out to Yah. You know when you eat a belly full, you get lazy, don't you? You have no energy. You just can't move. You don't want to do anything. Isn't that right? Come on. So we need to, as Daiweed said, Yah feeds me until I want no more. I want nothing but truth. I want to say this. I'm not here for the monetary reward because there is no money here. I'm not here for that. And if I wanted money, I have the ability in the natural sense to deceive the minds of many. And I could do that. Believe me. I look at some of these men that call themselves preachers and the way they look. Come on, you look at someone like T.D. Jakes with a gut like that. He looks like a damn hog. He looks like a damn hog. Not a hog, but a hog. He looks like a damn hog. Come on. And people flock by the 25,000s. And these little clowns and jokers, that's what they are. They have no excitement when they talk. See, if I wanted to do that, and I watch young men that came along with me, and they have whole houses with 1,000 members, 800, 1,200. And I'm here before the sparse crowd like this. I'd rather be in the house of Yah yeah. with a faith of you than to be in T.D. Snake Jake's shoes or Benny the Crippling Pimp shoes a Creflo the Crunching Dollar Bastard. That's what they are. Or the fag kite, uh, big daddy bishop, uh, long daddy long. How about that? Long daddy long. Hmm? I'd rather be here with two or three faithful ones that love you, that would receive that. Hallelujah. What's so, what's so, uh, what is so distinguished about someone like T.D. Jakes? With a gut like that, he has to walk like this. That's not distinguished. Come on. He's a hog. Talking about his chitlins and pig feet. And justify eating those damn unclean things. Pork fat. No. No. Stay out of them damn eateries, Yisra'ya. Quit putting that trash in your body. Some little dirty woman on her period. Cooking. Blood running down her legs. Come on. And you eat that damn mess. Now, you don't take your family out to nothing like that. Family outing is that you sit down, let's, let's, let's all cook together. Get over there, girls. Get over there, boys. Get over there, aunt. Get over there, mama. Come on. You make the salad. You make that. I'll cook this. You learn, if you can't cook, learn to cook together. Hallelujah. That's how you do it. Well, who made this? Oh, uh, Saturday I made that. They made cookies. Are they poppy? Everybody. I'm the poppy. I made some cookies, man. I said, boy, if I eat one of yours, I got to eat one of hers. If I eat one of hers, I got to eat one of that one. All of them offer me cookies. I said, no, nah, I'll just hold off this time. I won't eat a cookie. Because if I eat one, I got to eat two, I got to eat three, and I, I'm not ready for four cookies now. So I won't eat any one. Oh, Poppy, come on, just eat a cookie. Come on, man. Sherry, a Poppy, and I have a Poppy, Poppy here. Here's one for you. Ooh. <laughs> So if a baby can go in there and bake cookies, talk to me. Then I can too, you understand? 
Hallelujah. May I rock you all. You that have joined us, may the riches of your rest upon you all. We appreciate you all. Your kindness, your favor, and you that have joined us. Here. May his healing power, his Rafa, his Ya Rafa, he is our healer. There is healing. Stand to our feet. In his hands, oh, there is healing. In the hands of your, there is healing in Yeshua. There's healing in his hand. There is no other healing. Only in Yeshua. For he will heal us and convert us and make us whole. Oh, the healing hands of Yah, oh, the healing hands of Yah, oh, the healing hands of Yah, the healing hands of Yah, oh, the healing hands of Yah, oh, the healing hands of Yah, oh, the healing, the healing hands of Yah, the healing Hands of ear, we must trust them. From this day forward, let us bow botaka to trust ya botak with confidence. Let us turn towards Yerushalayim as long as we are in the shabuth or the shabuth of the captivity. And we turn toward the city where He has placed His name. Hear us tonight, Almighty Yah. We ask you to touch your people. And to strengthen us all in Yeshua's name, we ask you to touch each and every one to look upon Zachind, Yeshua, as he travels the highway, as he heads home with his Isha, the Chotnans, and the children. We ask you to preserve and keep him in your name, for you are the healer. And we ask you to give confidence in his bosom that all shall be well. As the old ones would say, even in their limited speech, they would say, it's going to be all right. And all shall be well. Preserve him and watch over him as you do all Yisra As you keep us all as we come near the close. This uh, the last day of the feast on tomorrow. The last great day we shall gather. And testify of your wonders and your beauty and your sure's name. Strengthen us all. Guide us and keep us. We brock you for those that have joined us on the live stream. Brock them all. And your sure's name. And with our voice we cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Yabarak!